And welcome back, everyone. I am Serge. And I am CERN. And now, Dr. Boysen, we're going to be talking about how to rule in or out pneumothorax. Woo. -hoo -hoo. All right. So again, this is going to vary depending on patient positioning. Our volunteer penny here is in lateral recumbency. We can look for pneumothorax in lateral recumbency. What we got to think about is the pathology we're looking for and where that pathology will accumulate based on patient positioning. So in lateral, where's that going to be? That's going to be the highest point of the chest, Dr. Boysen, because air rises. So we got to actually find that cap of air with penny and lateral recumbency. But let's pretend, because most of our patients that are going to come in with a pneumothorax are going to be more comfortable, and we want to scan our patients in the position they're most comfortable, mm -hmm. in a sternal or standing position. And if they're in sternal or standing position, Dr. Shalhoub, where is that air going to accumulate? Well, we can use our boundaries, Dr. Boysen, and it's going to be caudal dorsal. So if we can find the caudal dorsal boundary, that's going to be the highest point of the chest. That's where we can rule in or out pneumothorax for that hemithorax. All right. So I'm going to give you the probe and we're going to see if we can find that border using our ultrasound to classify and identify the key sites that get us to that caudal dorsal site. So we're going All to pretend right. penny for the sake of the demonstration is in sternal or standing. Let's find that most caudal dorsal site. All right. So what I like to do is to go ahead and start behind that cranial border so that we're sure over lung. So Dr. Poison, I'm going to get you to uh, put some alcohol there. We're going to part the fur. And we like to pull the skin a little bit cranial and ventral so that, again, we can use less applications of alcohol when we do our scan. So we put a probe there. We're at the cranial border plus border, which is limited by that forelimb. And I'm looking for the bat sign. And there's that pleural line, Dr. Boysen. And I can immediately see, see that shimmer. So we have lung sliding at this point here. What I'm going to do is, again, this patient is sternal or standing. I'm going to go find my caudal border by just sliding my skin all the way back. You've seen that avoids all the alcohol uh, that we would put on this patient otherwise. And we can see, there we go, Dr. Boysen, we can see that curtain sign, which is the caudal plus border. Absolutely. We see it just coming in behind that last rib there. There we go. We can see that vertical edge artifact over the stomach because we're scanning the left side of our patient now, Penny. And that's our caudal border. So this is now a good location for us to say, we don't have a pneumothorax here either. I can assess that curtain sign as normal. But again, Dr. Shalhoub, even if there's no pneumothorax at this site, are we at the most sensitive site if our patient's in a sternal or standing position? Again, air rises, so we have to go to the most caudal dorsal position. And if we just follow that caudal border up all the way up, all the way up, and look at that, we can still see the pleural line all the way up. Just disappeared. Gone. And now we're in muscle. So now I'm going to come back down, Dr. Boysen, until I find that pleural line again. And look at that. We can see a shimmer there or lung sliding. We're at the highest point of the chest, Dr. Boysen. The fact that we see that shimmer, the two pleural in contact, we do not have pneumothorax on this hemithorax. Correct. And now we've looked at and ruled it out at the most sensitive site. So therefore, we feel confident then that we have actually ruled out our pneumothorax on this side of the chest. And again, we can often look for abnormalities on that curtain sign as we slide up along that caudal border. But that is how we look for pneumothorax. And if you want to do that again, just real quickly in uh, real time, so we can, I'll push some more alcohol on there. All right, so here I am again. I am sure I am over lung because I'm at the cranial border. I'm going to go ahead and slide that skin backwards. I've already asked myself, do I have a glide sign immediately when I saw that? Because there might be a massive pneumothorax and you might not have a glide sign where you put your probe on there. But we did there, Dr. Bozen, and there we go. We're at the caudal border right there. Went from cranial to caudal border. And now I'm going to go all the way upwards until I lose that glide right there. It's gone. I'm going to come back down. And there it is. There's that pleural line. And I see a glide sign, Dr. Boysen, which means I do not have a pneumothorax in this hemithorax. Perfect. And that is how we quickly rule out uh, pneumothorax in a sternal or standing patient. Or as we said, if it's in a lateral position as Penny is here, then we're just going to pick that widest spot and look for the lung sliding at that widest spot. And we'll also, also look at that curtain sign with them in lateral and explore that for abnormalities suggestive of pneumothorax. Excellent.